Hey there, if you want to create some designs to sell as t-shirts or whatever kind of clothing you want to sell while well, you are in the right place, I'm going to show you how you can do this really really simple steps using Canva. So it's totally just up to you where you want to sell this principal stuff. So uh, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description if you want to check it out the Canva Pro version because I'm going to be using a few tools that are only available for Canva Pro. So there's no excuse for you guys to don't use a few tools that I'm actually going to use. And for you, it's going to be totally for free. So now that you have your 30 days uh, free of Canva Pro, we can start right away. So here what I can do here into Canva, I want to look for templates. I mean, we can do this. We can go into templates of Canva. We can choose, let's say, for T-shirt this side. And it's going to be appearing so much um, designs that we can choose. But if you want to sell this, if you want to make that as yours, I don't suggest you guys to use uh, this one. It's not because they are really bad. Actually, it's because you want to create your own designs. And you want to see which one are being selling and which one are not making sales, right? And for that, I love to use Pinterest. I can use so much more applications. Uh, there's actually an application called Moose Informer, which is actually really, really great, right? In order to see what kind of um, T-shirts, what kind of clothing are being actual sales. But I want to look for trendy uh, stuff, right? So here into Pinterest, which I love to use Pinterest, I want to choose this search bar. And here on Timo search bar, I want to look for t-shirts designs or designed, right? So in here it's going to be appearing a lot of designs. But if I want to choose something, if I want to relate with some um, with some kind of a niche with some design, they are like trendy. First of all, I want to look for a title in order to see if my stuff can be sold. So for example, let's say that I want to look for alien t-shirts. So in here into Pinterest, here are a few designs of aliens. So everyone is an alien somewhere. I'm pretty sure this is for Coldplay. All right, this is not from around this part. Here I am, aliens, area 51. This one is really, is looking really, really well. If you want to create something like this, I mean, you can do this. Actually, we're gonna stick around with this one because for me, this one is really, really dope. So I want to create something like this. I want to make some design related into this T-shirt. I don't want to copy paste that. I just want to create something related into that. So for example here, as you can see uh, into Canva, I want to look for create a design. I want to choose my pasta and it's going to be popping up this new design option, right? So as you can see, this is the file size. I love to resize as pixels because since this is a design, I do love to see almost everything into my design, right? So. So as you can see, here's my own tile file and here's my poster, right? So what I want to do here is to start from scratch. I want to start from scratch. Well, actually, we're not starting from scratch. We're going to be using this inspirational um, Area 51 alien stuff. So I'm going to be using some elements into Canva so I can create something like this. We're just going to be dragging a few elements, make that as our own, and then we can sell that. So here into Canva, go into elements and let's type into aliens let's see what this um canva has to offer to us so let's say for example i kind of like this one and if i like this design if i liked this element here are the magic recommendations if i see all it's going to be appearing all the let's say related elements from this one that we just uh, choose right so let's say that I want to look for something like I don't know maybe like this without any color so I can just be creative here guys I can just uh, I'm just gonna be make assuming this just for a second and let's say that I want to move this on the back side like this and I just want to copy paste so this is the really fun part where you want to actually 
designed your own stuff, right? So I can strongly suggest you just to use all the elements that you can, right? So here I can like this one, I can like this one as well. And let's say that I want to add like a square. If you want to add some text, first of all, I strongly suggest you to choose a color halite in order to continue. So here into the lens and shapes, I want to use one shape to make something like this. So this is a square, right? And here's some text and here is something, this Lucy t-shirt, right? So I want to create first something like this. So as you can see, this t-shirt has this um, black and white design, like if this was painted badly, and this one is making a really good design, but I just want to focus here into the, into the main part. All right, so here, as you can see, I was just being creative here. I was just using some elements like a splash uh, element. I changed the color into something more, let's say an orange color to highlight my crown. I can bring this into the back and I want to use this text and change that as a white color. And this is what I got so far. So lastly, what I just want to do in order to save all my printable stuff, let's say that I'm okay with all this design that I'm not pretty sure if it's going to be really, really good so far, but let's see that we just have this, right? So after that, hit into share, hit into download, and you want to enable, please do this, the transparent background. Because when you want to import this into a mockup of a t-shirt, you need to use a transparent background in order to upload that into a t-shirt, into an actual t-shirt. And go into download and you are just good to go. Now that you have here your design of your t-shirt into Canva, you are, well, you're ready. You can be ready, well, to, um, to start making sales. If you want to see how it's gonna be looking your uh, your design, you can always upload the file that you just downloaded, which in my case is this one. And I just need to go into edit my image, which is uh, just on the left part of crop. And I want to choose smart mockups. So I want to choose t-shirt number one, or I can choose t-shirt number five. I wait a couple of seconds and hit into apply. There we go. This is our design and this is how it's going to be looking go into apply and then you are good to go so there you have it guys it was really really simple you can start right away with your t-shirt designs you have your Canva 30 days uh, free version of Canva Pro so hopefully this was a pretty useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this uh, designing stuff is here into Canva so thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time good luck